Good morning, SM. Today we have Father Ford to tell us more about Lent, ASL Word of the Week, and Weather with Ryan. Buckle up because this show is going to be a wild ride. Eagles, I'm Laura Lee. And I'm Sammy Duran. To start off this week, let's check out some announcements. Reminder for seniors, senior pilgrimage and grad night registration are still open at a regular ticket price. See your campus life teams for information. Junior and senior class officer applications are due Wednesday, March 27th by 3 p.m. to the activities office. And linker applications are due by 3 p.m. March 13th. Lastly, the eyeglasses drive is currently underway. Donate your eyeglasses outside the student store this week. Now, as we're all caught up with the school's news, I think it's time for us to get caught up with what's going on right now. Yep, I believe Father Floyd is here to talk about the Lenten season with us. Roll it. Good morning, SM. My dear students, we are in the sacred season of Lent. It is in this season that we are encouraged to do our Lenten observance, namely praying, fasting, and almsgiving. As you may have noticed, there are 14 crosses scattered our school. And those crosses are not only for decoration or display. They are reminders of the journey of our Lord Jesus Christ in the school. Now, I come before you with a challenge. A challenge that calls upon your faith, your courage, and your sense of community. Lent is not merely a time for personal reflection and spiritual growth. Although those are certainly important, it is also a time for us to come together as a community to support one another on our journey towards Easter. Now I challenge you, each and every one of you, to organize a Station of the Cross prayer before the Easter break. But here's a twist. I want you to invite your friends, your classmates, your club members, and your sports team or department to the Station of the Cross challenge. Make it an event that brings people together in prayer and reflection. And as you do it, offer a particular prayer intentions. You might offer the station of the cross for your mom, your dad, your friends, or anyone who needs your prayer, or even for your own personal intentions. You can do this challenge after school time. You can find the station of the cross guides in our chapel. You can also bring the wooden cross there in the chapel. Just return it after your prayer. This challenge is not just about completing a task. It's about spreading the message of love and redemption to those around us. Let us do this challenge. Let us all together say, challenge accepted. Have a blessed Lenten season, SM. Thank you, Father Floyd, for that amazing challenge. Yeah, I definitely learned a lot more. And speaking of learning something new, do you know what's next? What is it? Our ASL program is here to teach us a few new words. Let's see what they have for us. Hi, my name's Patrick. And these are the colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, black, white, and brown. I didn't know many ASL words before this segment, but now I know quite a few. Same here. Are there any other words that you still want to learn? Probably the word for weather. I don't know the sign for weather, but I do know that we had Ryan and Sal in the studio to give us more updates. What is up, SM? I'm Ryan Marita. Here's your weather for the week. Starting off today, Monday, we're going to have partly cloudy skies with a high of 61 and a low of 47. Tuesday, we're going to have partly cloudy skies again with highs of 62 and lows of 44. Wednesday, in the middle of the week, we're going to have cloudy skies with a high of 58 and a low of 45. Towards the end of the week, Thursday, we're going to have partly cloudy skies with a high of 57 and a low of 46. Friday, sunny skies with a high of 40, 64 and a low of 45. The weekend, we're going to have partly cloudy skies with highs of 66 and lows of 47. Now, sending it over to my snow report, Salvador Vargas. What's up, SMM Sal Vargas? There's been a lot of rain over here and a lot of snow up in the mountains. As here at Tahoe, there's 100 to 141 inches of snow with all the trails closed. At Bear Valley, there's 132 to 158 inches of snow with 49 out of the 56 trails closed. In Mammoth Mountain, my personal favorite, there's 125 through 170 inches of snow with all the trails closed. Thank you, sending it back to Laura and Sammy. Thank you, Ryan. There won't be any more rain. 
Yep. And I think that's all we have for you guys today. I'm Laura Lee. And I'm Sammy Duran. Have a marvelous Monday, SM.